प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री बाई टू एंड जेड वन प्लस जेड टू दैट मीन्स लैमडा प्लस फोर प्लस फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू लैमडा प्लस टू बाई टू टू लैमडा प्लस टू बाई टू एंड दिस इज सिक्स माइनस लैमडा बाय टू एंड लैमडा प्लस एट बाय टू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू व्हेन यू सॉल्व दिस गिव्स यू लैमडा प्लस वन सिक्स लैमडा बाय टू लैमडा प्लस एट बाय टू दिस आर द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द पॉइंट आर नाउ सिंस द पॉइंट आर इज lying on the plane it will satisfy the equation of the plane so uh, let me rub up since the point r is lying on the plane it will satisfy the coordinates uh, satisfy the equation of the plane so we can write 2 into lambda plus 1 minus in place of y coordinates we can write 6 Minus lambda by two plus lambda plus eight by two plus three is equal to zero. This will simplify now. That is two lambda plus two, and this is minus six. Uh, okay, we'll do one thing. First of all, let's multiply both sides by two. so that we can uh, the uh, this eliminate the denominator terms then for practical uh, calculation it would be very easy so this will be 4 into lambda plus 1 6 minus lambda and lambda plus 8 and 2 into 3 that is 6 and the 2 is multiplied on the right hand side which yields 0 so which is equal to This is four lambda plus four minus six plus lambda plus lambda plus eight plus six is equal to zero. So four lambda plus two lambda, which gives us six lambda. Then uh, this six six we can cancel. So eight plus four is twelve equal to zero, which implies six lambda is equal to minus twelve. Which implies lambda is equal to minus twelve by six. That is minus two. Now we got the value of lambda. Now we got the value of lambda, which comes out to be minus two. Then by substituting the value of lambda in the coordinates, we can get the coordinates uh, coordinates of q. We will get the coordinates of q. So coordinates of q are given by two lambda plus one, two into minus two plus one. Again, minus lambda plus three, minus minus two plus three, then lambda plus four, minus two plus four, which are equal to is minus four plus one is minus three, and this is two. Uh, this will be plus two plus three five, and two. So. The image of the point one three four is equal to minus three five two. This is the result. Suppose if the question is given in this form, this question or everything is given in the vector form. In that case, we have to write the position vector of Q. That you know, the position vector of Q can be given by vector of Q is. Use the coordinates minus three i plus five j cap plus two k cap. So, if the question is given in this form, the result or the answer is desired in this form, vector form. If the question is given in the Cartesian form, so you have to write the only the coordinates. So, you must be very familiar with how to convert into Cartesian form to vector form. so once you know but the working modality is very easy now my dear students how to find out the perpendicular distance of a point 
from a given plane. The equation of the plane may be given in the vector form. Then the position vector of the point P is given to be vector r say. In that case, the perpendicular distance that is P m is given by the magnitude of d minus r 1 dot n divided by magnitude of n. If the equation of the plane is given in the Cartesian form, which you know already the equation of plane is A x plus B y plus C z plus D is equal to 0. And the instead of position vector of the point P, the coordinates are given as x 1, y 1, z 1. In that case, the P m is given by the perpendicular distance is given by a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c z 1 plus d divided by under the root of a square plus b square plus c square. In both case, we take the magnitude because the distance should not be negative. So, this is the formula and this formula is little analogous to the formula of a um, distance of a point in two dimensional line distance of a point from a two dimensional line where you have come across in your class 11. Here only you will be getting the z coordinate. Now, we will work out some questions pertaining to this formula. Find uh, this is a question number 3 find the distance of the point whose position vector is given to be 2 i cap plus j cap minus k cap uh, from the plane vector r dot i cap minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap is equal to 9. So, we can use this formula also or we can convert this equation into Cartesian form and we can find the distance. So, there is a another question here we will be using the Cartesian formula and in this case vector formula we will use. So, the distance p m is given by in this case the position vector of the point this p can be taken as 2 i cap plus j cap minus k cap and the equation of the plane is r dot i minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap minus 9 is equal to 0. So, just use the formula that is r 1 dot n minus d divided by vector n, but this is vector n, it is modulus. So, r 1 vector is known to you already given that is equal to 2 i cap plus j cap minus k cap. So, we will use this formula, this is 2 i cap plus j cap minus k cap dot n cap, n cap is in this case i vector n is i n cap minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap. So, we take i minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap minus 9 divided by the magnitude of n cap that is i cap minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap it is modulus. So, we will be getting in this case 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 9 and in this case 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 4 square under the root. So, this is equal to in this case uh, minus 13 and this is root 21. Since this distance is positive, so we have to take the positive value. So, the distance is 13 by root 21, this is the answer. Now, come to the question number 2. While solving the question number 2, we can use the Cartesian equation which I have already explained. So,
P is a point whose coordinates are given to be 3, 4, minus 2 and the equation of the plane is given to be 6 x minus 3 y plus 2 z minus 11 is equal to 0. Now, you are asked to find the distance p m. So, this p m is given by you use the formula here the coordinates are 3 4 minus 2 they can be taken as x 1 y 1 and z 1. Now, we will substitute the value 6 into 3 minus 3 into 4 plus 2 into minus 2 minus 11 divided by 6 square plus minus 3 whole square plus 2 square under the root. Then this is equal to 18 minus 12 minus 4 minus 11 divided by this is 36 plus 9 plus 4 which is equal to 18 minus 27 divided by 49 under the root. This is equal to minus 9 by 7 under the root. Since this distance is positive, you have to take its value to be 9 by 7. It is the modulus. It should not be negative. Always please bear in mind to use this modulus sign. So, you know how to find out the distance of a point from a plane. This is the question find the equation of a plane passing through the point whose coordinates are 1, 2, 3 and parallel to the plane r dot 2i minus 3j plus 5k is equal to 7. This question we can solve very easily when we can uh, convert this vector equation into the Cartesian form. The uh, Cartesian form of this equation is given by when you substitute the value of vector r as x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap and 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 5 k cap is equal to 7. This equation becomes 2 x minus 3 y plus 5 z is equal to 7. You are already familiar with this process of conversion of Cartesian equation to vector form, vector equation to Cartesian form. So, equation of any plane parallel to this plane will only differ by the constant term. Equation of any plane as I have already explained you in my previous class, equation of any plane parallel to plane this is 1, this plane 1 is given by 2 x minus 3 y plus 5 z is equal to k and this plane passes through point through the point whose coordinates are 1, 2, 3. Therefore, this coordinates will satisfy this equation. So, 2 into 1 minus 3 into 2 plus 5 into 3 is equal to k. So, this is 2 minus 6 plus 15 is equal to k. So, this will be 15 minus 4 k is equal to 11. So, the equation of the plane is 2 x minus 3 y plus 5 z is equal to 11. Since here the question is given the vector form, it is desired that the equation answer should be also in the vector form. So, we can write in the vector form, vector equation of the plane, plane is r dot 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 5 k cap is equal to 11, hence the result. Okay. We have covered, uh, we have discussed all the formulas pertaining to the plane and variety of the questions which are coming in the board examination have already been dealt with. Now, there are many questions in your textbook, you should try to work out. Thank you very much, have a nice day.